Hello guys, welcome back to Constam GIS. So today we are going to look at geocoding addresses using QGIS. And with me, I have a ship file, a CSV file. And you can see that this CSV file has a few uh, columns. Uh, I have the ID, the address. These are the actual address looks like. And then I also have the state. I have the code, the zip, and the country. So this is, this is the information that we need for us to do geocoding in QGIS. So in QGIS, we will use a plugin called MMQGIS. And this is the plugin that we will use to geocode our CSV file. So we'll use open uh, street map, uh, street, uh, street map because it's, uh, it's open source. So for us, if you haven't uh, installed this plugin, you can come to plugins, manage and install plugins. And once this window opens, just type MMQ. You'll see this uh, plugin, MMQGIS. And this is the plugin that we'll use. So you can see, you can just click install. But for me, I've already installed, so I'll not uh, do it again. So once you install it, it will show up here. This is where you will find it in this toolbar. So let's go ahead and decode our CSV file that we have just uh, 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 just seen a few minutes ago. So just uh, decode CSV with the web service, and uh, you can see I want to input. I need to input the CSV file. I named it as addresses. So I'll open that. And you can see some of these uh, fields are auto-populated. So it's also, it also, it's, it's also advisable that uh, you make it uh, more detailed if you can. So if you had uh, maybe a column for city, you can always put it there. For country, for state, uh, it's really important. So we have options uh, that you can use. You can see the web services that we have. We have the Google. Google uh, requires you to have an API key. And if you're using Google, uh, you need to ensure that you have set up uh, your Google uh, API to allow your coding services because you have to enable these services on the back end of, uh, of Google when you're creating this API key. So for this, we are going to use uh, the OpenStreetSmart. You can also use the US Sensor Bureau if you are interested in getting more information about this. So for me, I'm just going to use the OpenStreetSmart and nomi nominate, uh, nominate him. So if, even if you are using uh, uh, Python to script this, this is what you're supposed to import in the script so that it can allow you to uh, access these geocoding uh, privileges. So that said, I will go ahead and uh, check the multiple features for me to get the most uh, results out of this. So I'll put uh, an uh, output file and I can name it, uh, I can leave it at default as for now. Uh, and then maybe you can also uh, leave it the rest as they are. So I'm, I'm just going to apply this and uh, I'm just going to give it a second to run. So let's wait and see the results. So it's done and you can see that it has uh, successfully geocoded uh, 32 out of the 27. This is because uh, the CSV has 27 uh, fields. Yeah, this is 27, excluding the first one for the column names. Uh, and then you can see now here we are having 32. This is because we, uh, we added these uh, multiple features for multiple results. So this allows us to have the maximum results for each uh, geocoded uh, address. So we can close this and you can see we have a, uh, uh, it kind of generated two, but you can see now we have a, a share file. You can zoom to layer. You can see most of these share files are uh, appearing uh, within uh, sort of together. This is because this is probably a street. So we can add our quick map uh, OSM uh, base map so that we can visualize this on a map. So you can see we have uh, successfully addressed, uh, decoded these and extracted the location of these addresses. So guys, you can try this out and let me know how it goes in the comments section below. Thank you guys for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel for more related content and share uh, this video. Thank you guys.